Hola. The vlog on my new camera. What's going on? Hi, sisters. I'll never do that. And it's another vlog. It's been about a week. Maybe a week. I left off. I was doing the last rehearsal for my play. So, you're wondering, how did it go? If you're wondering how it went, it went swell. Everybody loved it. The audience loved it. We loved it. Noda, the people who come and judge the play, didn't like it. But they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you're reviewing an amateur theatre. What have you come to? Uh, it's about nearly one in the morning. Um, I'm just writing more of my book. Getting there. It's getting there. And I'm currently in a new play. Good night, Mr. Tom. Yeah, literally a week after they asked us all, would you like to be in the our next play? Good night, Mr. Tom. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it before auditioned and I got the parts of the RAF pilot and the policeman. <sighs> so yeah, all exciting. What's the most exciting is I've got a new camera. That's you. The audience and the camera. And there it is. My book being born on my new laptop. Thank you, Argos. This is not sponsored by Argos. I wish I could motivate. I could motivate myself vlogging more if I get a new camera, which I did. And I don't, and I don't regret it. Oh yeah, back to the first bit. Yes. So we did the play after the final rehearsal. We went swell. Everyone remembered their lines, almost. I think everyone battled through it. The first night, I think the audience was pretty dead. But it was our fault as well, kind of. Because they're literally all, all the things that could go wrong with the lighting, the sound, it happened on the first night. But it's best to get it out of the way. As the director says, never blame them, the audience. As you can see, my wardrobe door's just fallen off. It's great. The rest of the week went great. Night where everyone started probably doing hiccups and doing all the faults and all that. We realised after that Noda was in. Which I probably said before who are Noda. Noda are like the people who come and judge the place. You know? The people who you see like you see like a West End musical and they're all there saying it's fantastic, it's amazing, quotations. It's these people who review it. But no dirt are usually reviewing the amateur theatre, you know. People who just go out in their spare time and make a play just to entertain people in the community. And they take it pretty seriously. Some of the directors take it seriously. Some of the cast take it seriously. And when the, when the review comes in, they forget the purpose that it's just for entertainment, it's just a play, you know. I read the review, uh, it was okay, it's fine. Me personally, I didn't, I didn't have a bad review, to be honest. I, I, the review is all separately, individually, you can check it all on the Nerd website. He heavily slated a lot of people. And they weren't happy. He called a lot of the performance cringy. He named the certain actors who he called cringy. And they read it during the after show meal. It did not go down well, to say the least. Again, it's one man's opinion v 298 more people in the auditorium. So, you know it. If you don't like it, darling, you can go fuck yourself. We made a pact where we never read the review on the last night. We read the review after it's done. Show must go on. 
the Friday night of the start show week, we went to the forum, the Chinese in our town. It was beautiful. Friday after, we went to a pub called the Cheshire Tavern. A buffet, it was nice. Had a drink, it was nice. And we got to meet all of the uh, the new cast of Goodnight Mr. Tom, which are all children, which you need in Goodnight Mr. Tom. And a lot of them have more confidence than the other, other actors, including myself. So it's good to have them on board. Welcome to the show. I've got to do now a Cockney accent. I can't, you see, I can't do it. I'll learn, I'll get better. And I got to do a posh accent because I'm an RAF pilot, yes. Jerry's down. Went to Manchester on Thursday. It was ace last Thursday. Got absolutely drunk. Finally went to my first ever TMI Fridays. TMI, TGMI Friday, TGI Fridays, TGI. Had a burger, one of them. Jack Daniels sauce glazed with the burger. Oh yes. Seven pound fifty for a pint. It killed me as well. I went, yeah, no pint. We'll eat. We'll go TGI Fridays to sober up. Two hours later, I was not allowed to be served in a bar because I was too drunk. And that's when it went downhill. Three lads had to help me on the train. Me and my friend got split up. I woke up in Stoke, which is past where I'm supposed to get off. I got awoken by one of the train instructor guys saying to me, Look, mate, you've lost your... Uh, you've what? You've missed your stop, mate. You've missed your stop. I'm just there going, Oh, what? What? Where's... where's my, my friend's called Mark, so go, where, Where's Mark? Where's, where's Mark? And he was saying, oh, well, your friend's gone. You've missed your stop. You're going to Stoke, you better get off whilst you're going to London, because the next stop's Houston. And that's like, way down south. Obviously, I didn't want that, so drunk me obviously got up, because I fell asleep on the floor of the train. It was... Ugh. <laughs> I'm such a mess when I'm drunk. Got off the train, fell on the taxi. Just picture me getting off the train in this station of all these people. Me, away the taxi, uh, taxi, and all these people are just staring at me. Like, what the fuck is this gonna do? <laughs> Went back there on Sunday, round two. One of them, where the other? No, I could pretend I'm looking in the camera. I can see myself. Ooh, ooh obviously, I can't. It's just a single lens. What's it, a Moby Dick? Bought a copy of that for £2.99 for Bernardo's charity shop the other day. Good price. It was ace. Thought I'm buying that. There's a casting agency in the local town. It's called Mim. Mim Casting Agency. So I think I'm going to go down there tomorrow. Ask them. Rock up. I thought you've just been applying for all these casting agencies, you know, and all that. And there's going to be replies back. You don't even see me act. So how the fuck do you know how I act, darling? I'll probably do some more impression videos. Just literally just turn on my bed. About to have a bottle of wine. Yes. What's going on? 